Hey YouTube, I just had a quick little video I wanted to make in regards to my ex-husband and his abuse that he continues verbally, emotionally, mentally to me via text message, in court, in court documents, in comments that he makes behind the scenes when my kids are on the phone to me he makes comments about me being in la la land um he has told my children that they will never live with me again that i've picked my boyfriend over them that the judge has seen issues with me because i abused adderall when i was pregnant with my son but yet my blood work shows i never had adderall or anything in my system not even cannabis he has continued that lie all over that it's my fault. Our son has special needs because I abused drugs and Adderall during my pregnancy. He absolutely talks to me horrible and makes fun of me every chance he gets. So today I posted my other first two videos and he sends me a text message telling me how pathetic I am and how everybody is laughing at me and oh let's see oh poor little pea brain must be working overtime you look so stupid as ever joke of the neighborhood so sad yeah that's the way Mr. Seifert speaks to me he got caught taking my son to the doctor behind my back breaking court orders he got caught abusing my son he got caught spanking my son with a no spank order he got caught giving my son the cannabis coconut oil that he said i was poisoning my son with that was the catalyst to get my boyfriend arrested he continued giving that coconut oil for over four months or so without a doctor recommendation which is completely illegal as well as he gave my son the same cannabis. Hello. He gave my son the same coconut oil cannabis that he said was poisoning our son. So yeah, Mr. Seifert says that I'm pathetic and that I look ridiculous and that I'm the joke of the neighborhood. Well, I think they say when you're pointing your finger, you should probably look because there's three more pointing back. Yeah, take a look in the mirror, Mr. Seifert. Anyways, needless to say, it's getting real because as I've said, I say nothing. I can't back up with documents. It's so ridiculous. Literally everything I say, I can back up with documents. So anyways, I just wanted to fill you in on Mr. Seifert and his shenanigans and the way he talks to me. And maybe one of these days I'll pull out a bunch of other text messages because he's absolutely abusive and rude and degrading. And the way he treats me is exactly the way he treats his children. The things that he says and the way he treats everybody is the same when he's angry so you know he poses to be all that he poses to be mr tough mr suave mr cool mr stick up my butt oops did i just say that out loud yeah anyways he poses to be all that but behind closed doors he's an absolute monster and i'm not the only one that says that his kids say that his adult kids have even said that he's not the man that they know. They have come in after he's thrown me around. They've come in and seen us all huddled up, crying, hiding in the bedroom. They know that their father is abusive, but yet they tell the authorities that I'm a liar, that their dad's never been abusive, that I am such a horrible person, that I abuse and neglect my children that I am a piece of poo. But yet, I have a lot of other witnesses that are even witnesses to the exact thing that they're saying 
he didn't abuse us over. There were other witnesses there. So at the end of the day, we've got Mr. Seifert and his clan all on the same property, pretty much, all saying the same thing. And everybody else, including the medical professionals, the people that I volunteered with for years, the everybody, everybody else says completely different. So anyways, um, yeah, needless to say, it's getting real and I'm calling everybody out and I'm not gonna settle for this travesty and I'm not gonna settle for people abusing and neglecting my children and thinking they're gonna get away with it. I will drag you through the mud publicly if you think you're going to hurt my children and get away with it. It's not gonna happen and I don't care who you are. If you're the district attorney, Mr. Scott R. Owens, who hasn't protected my children for a year, who didn't prosecute my ex-husband for abuse a year ago, and even if he's not the one that's in charge of prosecuting, his boys are, and his boys haven't done their job. His boys are holding letters from my daughter begging for help. His boys are holding letters from other children that have witnessed Mr. Seifert's abuse. His boys are holding adult witnesses that have witnessed his abuse or been involved in it calling the police saying, Mr. Seifert is at my house beating down my door, threatening my son and his daughter, and I'm afraid for their life. I need help. And yet Mr. Seifert's allowed to continue. Mr. Seifert breaks domestic violence restraining orders, caught on video, sent in, sitting on the DA's desk. Mr. Seifert has been witnessed and busted red-handed and I have plenty of people that all have the same story but their own perspective and yet Mr. Seifert is the only one anybody believes so needless to say I've documented proof of corruption whichever district attorney is in charge of prosecuting domestic violence and child abuse my ex-husband stuff got set on his desk August 1st. Then he must have kicked it off with the documented proof and witnesses. He said, oh, psh, it's okay. <laughs> We're good. I'm busy. Somebody put it back on his desk November 1st. Well, it's July 17th. And Mr. Seifert not only has not been prosecuted for any of the child abuse, that was witnessed, that the victim said he did, that the victims had bruising and injuries and that there were witnesses for the bruising and injuries. And yet Mr. Seifert not prosecuted. So yeah, Mr. R. Scott Owens isn't doing his job because he's ultimately responsible for his boys that aren't doing their job. His boys that are wrongly using laws. His boys that are overstepping their authority and their boundaries. So, needless to say, nobody's going to get away with it. Nobody. I don't care who they are. It's just their job. They're a, a human. A United States citizen the same as you and me the same except they took an oath they're paid by my tax dollars to protect us and they have their own agenda and they protect their co-workers nah unacceptable and I'm not gonna settle for it and I'm going to call everybody out on the floor and I've been very vocal and I've told them I'm going to go to the FBI. They need to step up and do their job. This isn't a he said, she said. I'm willing to work with you. I'm willing to help you go through all of my documents. It's just the way it is. And by ignoring me is not going to make me go away. Ignoring me is not going to fix the problem. It's only making me more pissed. It's only giving me more documented proof of the conspiracy that I've called out for months. 
And yes, Mr. Collins said I'm crazy because I said it's a conspiracy. I wouldn't say that if I didn't have documented proof. I have proof of everything. All of these people working together. All of these people lying together. Mr. Seifert took documented proof into De Detective Guanco at the end of July, working with the detective, giving more documented proof of his freaking false allegations. It's a freaking conspiracy. And at this point, there have been attorneys looking at my stuff and have absolutely verified it's a conspiracy. Like for real, like a real criminal conspiracy. How they all had the same agenda and they all worked together. They all broke laws. They all overstepped their boundary. They all used the law incorrectly. They are a joke. Brian, shh. Sorry. Anyways, it's a joke. And I'm not going to tolerate it. So, anyways, yeah, stay tuned because I am so close to going to the FBI with everything, it's not even funny. Because every day that clicks by, I get more documented proof of the conspiracy. The fact that Detective West who is special ops and his special ops boys are the ones that pulled me out of the shower, holding me at gunpoint, telling me to put my hands up while I'm holding my towel halfway wrapped around me, insisting that I raise my arms. Then I said, I'm gonna go get dressed and they wouldn't let me. In my shock and fear and the fact that I'm freaking naked and wet and conditioner I don't have a gun, you stooge. I'm gonna go get dressed. And I walked away and got dressed. Detective West is the detective investigating my false police report. But Detective West is special ops and his boys sexually harassed me. Harassed me. So anyways, needless to say, I am in pursuit of Detective West Superior because one, I 100% believe we have a conflict of interest. Detective Guolco and Detective Trednik are his boys. So why would he roll up his boys? Unfortunately, I hold documented proof that's going to roll up his boys no matter what he does. All he's going to do is cause himself problems because I'll roll him up with his boys, proving... He's protecting his boys and not doing his job. And that's unacceptable. So, anyways, yeah, stay tuned because I have a lot more where this came from and I have a lot of plans. I'm in the process of getting a press release done and I'm getting ready to go back to the Placer County Board of Supervisors. I'm getting ready to have a protest rally out in front of the Placer County Sheriff holding up some of my legitimate documented proof and protesting that they stole my friend's infused coconut oil and she passed away and it was a legal Prop 215 collective and they stole her medicine illegally and that's unacceptable. Not to mention my son's been unmedicated with the only medicine that has ever worked they have it. Anyways, that's unacceptable and I'm not going to tolerate it. So stay tuned because whew, it's about to get really real for real. Anyways, here we go. Have a good night. Bye.